Well, hello, beautiful people. Ooh. Um, today, I'm going to attempt Jack Jack's Num Num cookies. Seen loads and loads of posts on them, so I thought I would give it a go. So, in my pan, I already have my two cups of, two sticks, one cup of butter. So, um, I need to get this all browned, as they say. So, um, not sure how long it will take. It's just a let's wait and see type of thing. Um, obviously, you don't want to be bored to death. I am sure. So, I will pause the video because this might otherwise turn out to be a very, very long video. And I don't have editing skills. As anyone who has watched any of my videos will happily agree with. Um, <laughs> or unhappily. But, um, so I'm going to pause this, I'll pop back when it's all melty and browning. Alright, meet you in a bit. So, here we are all nice and melty. I've put it on low, because obviously I don't want to burn the butter as well. That's not going to taste very nice. Um, so I'm basically just going to give it a couple of seconds more, maybe. Um, I can't remember if someone said you're supposed to have this froth on the top or not, <laughs> so, mm, I suppose we'll soon find out, but I'm going to turn that off actually because see it's starting to, yeah, I think we're done, well this stage, so what we have to do now is let it cool and start to solidify again. Once it gets to that stage, we can get on to part two of the Num Num cookies. Um, so I'm gonna set this aside, let it cool. I'm gonna measure out all the other ingredients so I'm all good to go. And then um, I'll come back to you. So I'll see you in a little while. Bye bye for now. Well hello again, I'm back. Um, I've, um, I think the butter is um, solidified, you can see it's going to start to, so I hope that's enough. I've got all of my ingredients all measured out, um, look at me on the ball, um, so shall we give this a go? Um, I'm basically going to start by creaming the sugar and butter together. I just put both types of butter in the bowl. We've got the brown sugar and the white sugar. Um, got our butter obviously. We've got um, one full egg and a yolk. We've got our flour, which I know the it doesn't say to sieve it, but I always tend to sieve my flour. I just think it makes things a little bit lighter. I've got salt and the um, baking powder in there as well. I've got my uh, vanilla essence, I have my chocolate chunks, I thought I'd use some chunks, but I like plenty of chocolate and my chocolate chip cookies, so we have another bag of just ordinary chocolate chips as well. So um, I'm going to give this a, a blitz up, it's probably going to get noisy, so um, obviously I'll probably just turn the camera to pause. Um, so hopefully this does the trick. I do only have a hand blender, so it is probably going to take me a little bit of time as well. But if these cookies are anything like people say they are, then it's going to be worth it. So, like I said, I've got my brown and my white sugar in there. And let's give this a whisk. Very noisy, going to turn you off. <laughs> well, I'll pause you for now. Okay, so I think that's um, nicely mixed together. So I'm now going to add in my eggs and give it another mix. And um, so again, I'll just put you on pause while I do that, just because, you know, noisy and all that. So in go the eggs. I'll be on pause, be back soon. So that's all mixed. I'm going to add in my vanilla essence now. So, oops, a daisy. So just um, one teaspoon. In that goes. I've 
actually quite a thick one because it's the Madagascan vanilla. I like to use the Madagascan. I just think it's a little bit nicer, a little bit more flavour. So again, I'll just give this a quick little mix in. <laughs> So now we're going to start adding the flour. I like the flour a little very little, um, obviously just because if I add it all in together, it's all going to just be, you know, a little bit too much. I'm just going to higher this up a little as well. There you go. You can see now, can't you? Okay, so I'm going to add in the flour bit by bit. Like I so said, I've also got my baking powder and salt in here. Um, I'm just going to sprinkle that in. Just a fun fact, this spoon used to be my mum's. And it's actually probably older than I am. <laughs> there you go. Right, so I'm going to start mixing this in. Um, I'll get it all mixed in and then I'll come back to you. Okay. I don't know what's happening. <laughs> So there we go, that's all mixed in. Um, it has got to form some sort of dough, obviously, to get the board together. So I'm just going to put in the chocolate chips and then give that a bit of a mix. Uh, well, I'll probably have to do that by hand. Oh, chocolate chips are melted. That's what happens when you try and make cookies in a heat wave. Um, I'm probably only going to use one half packet. I don't want to be, you know, that bad. <laughs> Um, as long as you get a nice mix in there, it's nothing worse than getting a chocolate chip cookie and you've got no chocolate chips in it. What's that all about? So, um, well, you know what? Got it. <laughs> the lock can go in. Okay, now that's what you're going to call a chocolate chip cookie. Chocolate, oh, chocolate chips. Okay. So, um, I had just washed my hands, I promise you, because otherwise, look. So, I'm just going to try and form this into a bit of a dough now, get it all squished together. So I'm going to put this into dough balls and then it's going to sit in the um, fridge for at least an hour, but preferably overnight. <laughs> and do you really think overnight is happening? When you're making cookies, you want cookies, don't you? So there we go. Okay, well I'm going to get those all put into little balls and... Um, Get them ready for the fridge. So I'll be back in a bit. Right, I'm just doing the last couple, so I thought I'd just show you what I was doing. Not that you need to know. Oh, I'm teaching grandma to suck eggs, aren't I? But anyway, I've just been using an ice cream scoop. Um, I know someone suggested it at one point, and then that way you're going to get equalish balls um, of cookie dough. <laughs> um, and then obviously I'm just rounding it off into a ball. Now the other thing is, I've never actually had one of these cookies from Disney, um, but I believe they get served in the little paper case, so I thought I would do them in the little paper cases and just see how they come out. And just using a little pie, um, you know, like a mince pie tray rather than a muffin tray. Um, but, oh, it's a rogue. Um, but I thought I'd just try it this way and just see. It wasn't very even, considering it's supposed to help me be even, but anyway. Um, now I've heard other people have not got even 12 out of this. I'm at 12 and I've still got some batter left. So I'm going to boil the rest up, but I'm going to probably stick them in the freezer. And then if they are really good and it gets to a point where I just fancy one of these cookies, I can just whack it straight into the uh, oven. Um, so I'm going to do that with the rest. I'm going to put these ones in the fridge. Um... It's 3.15-ish now, um, so I'm going to stick these in the fridge. 
I'll leave them for at least an hour. I've got a few chores and I want to get done. So I'll get them done and then um, we'll come back and get them in the oven. And hopefully we'll have some nice cookies later on. So I will see you on a bit. Bye bye for now. So welcome back beautiful people. Um, they have been actually in the fridge now for just about two and a half hours maybe. Um, my other jobs took longer than I thought. So um, I'm now going to pop them in the oven. The oven has been preheated already. So we're going to just um, pop them in. And fingers crossed, hope for the best. They come out nice when they're all done. Um, it says about 10 minutes on the, um, the instructions the recipe but um i've heard people have left them in a little bit longer because obviously they're a bigger cookie so we're probably going to check them in about 12 minutes but i think they will probably need a little bit longer but i'm just going to set the timer to 12 minutes for now because we can always put them in for longer can't take them out once the bit well you can take them out once the burn but they're not going to be very nice and this is a lot of effort for them not to be very nice so um we'll let that go for 12 minutes and we'll be back so i'll see you shortly bye bye for now well guys the uh buzz is buzzed let's just take a little look see What do you think? I don't think they look about cooked. So hopefully, hopefully, they actually taste good. So I'm gonna let them cool for a little while and then um, I'll give them a little go and I'll let you know what I think. <laughs> hopefully they could. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Bye bye for now. Well, I'm back for one final time. Let's see what these bad boys came out like. I must admit, they do smell absolutely glorious. So, kept their shape nice. Now, let's see. Oh, oh. Oh. So. A little bit, I don't know, I expected it to be more full in the middle. I don't know. I probably mixed a cake rather than a cookie, haven't I? But let's just see. Hmm. Very nice, very buttery. Um, so that's nice. Very chocolatey, but that could be the two packets of chocolate chips instead of the one. Yeah. Very nice. Don't know about amazing, but that could be just my batch. <laughs> but, yeah. Not bad. Have 12 nice cookies. Another five in the freezer for whenever. I might try one of these after my dinner with a nice blob of ice cream on the side. Mm -mm -mm. well thanks for watching and uh sorry for boring you <laughs> um this may not ever get posted but if it does thanks very much for taking the time to watch this and um we'll speak to you soon bye bye for now